Hello everybody, Ciro here with another video. Uh, today I'm just continuing my blog, my daily routine, what I have sold during the week, what uh, I found on my shelf. Uh, recently, I <clears throat> the Ross in my area reopened after the lockdown um, and I stopped by. <laughs> Probably I should have done that because I have a lot of stuff to list, but I end up buying um, a bunch of uh, shoes, cleats, uh, jerseys. So hit uh, two Ross, and the next day I went to two Burlingtons, and uh, Burlington uh, was or had been open for four days before I went, so I couldn't find much, but still managed to get uh, some shoes there. And yeah, so probably you'll be seeing the the hole for the Ross and Burlington's uh, video soon. So let me show you what I got today. So I have, uh, these came in a storage unit. I only bought two storage units. One was really small that I sold everything already and threw away whatever I didn't need. And then I bought another, a bigger one where I still have some stuff. I found glasses or glass or depression glass. And I'm just going through this box right now. I bought this garage sale because, or this storage unit because it seems like it was like a, somebody that does a sewing. There was a sewing machine there that I already saw a while back. Uh, but uh, I'm going to go through this right now. They're new. Like this one. It's a bit smashed. But, uh, so we have one, two, three of those. These. She bought it at. Goodwill. And I found a bunch of stuff in this storage with the good, Goodwill tag. These two are similar of these. But I will lot probably these five. Then I found these. And these are from Iceland, I think. Yeah, and it has a bunch. So I'm going to just start listing these. Um, hey guys, so today I've been going through the pattern of clothing I bought. And I found this. This is uh, a Titans jersey. It's a retired player. It's uh, George. The brand, it's a uh, Pro Line, I think it's by Fanatics. But I couldn't find this when it's out of stock, so this is pretty much dead stock. Let's see. And this is the palette I have. Let's see. As you can see. And this one, uh, oops, sorry. So 685 pieces, pay $900 for it. So $1.32 per piece. And I'm still finding a bunch of stuff. As you can see, it's still full. And I listed a lot from here. Um, I'm going to post a video of these, how how I got it, hopefully this week. And what I have sold. So probably it'll be like uh, what, what I saw video on this. But uh, let me show you what I still have. So let's see. I have a Nike. Leggings. Fabletics, some of the Fabletics leggings, like this one, like power hole leggings from Fabletics. They're expensive. What we have. And they're all brand new. Uh, Dragon Ball Z. Um, let's see, what else? More Nike right there. Nike. 
This is Jay Jill. St. John. Yeah, I have a lot. Lots of clothing. Lots. So those are, now you can see the brand ASOS. I thought that was a cheap brand and I saw like dresses for a hundred bucks on Poshmark for that brand. I didn't know that brand. It, I think it's from the UK, but uh, this is what I... Coliseum, Colossum, I'm not sure. But yeah, it's a bunch of stuff here. More NFL stuff, Antigua. What is that? That's a Nike. Yeah, and there's dresses, pants. Abercrombie. Lali. I have a bunch of these. What is this? This is Jose Bang, but the tag. The tag, I think, on these are like 109. I'm not going to sell it for that price, but I have a bunch of those. So, yeah, so that this was a very sweet deal. It's a very sweet deal. So I'll show you the, the footage probably this week. This all yesterday. Um, they paid today, actually during the night. Uh, listed this for $20 and let this one go for $14. I had it forever. It has the stains. Uh, what was that probably oil I got this at a storage unit which it's already paid for so this is just profit um, yeah 14 bucks plus shipping though so three, uh, three small sales on eBay one on Poshmark and one on Mercari they're all small but uh, this is what so I found two more of these so I listed them right away. I sold the others for $10 before, so I listed this for $15 plus shipping and took an offer of $13 plus shipping. The next sale is these. This is the second one I sold. Um, I listed four, posted it for $14 plus shipping, took an offer of $12. It's a small. Uh, it's a $12 plus shipping, so buyer is on this about $20. They're paying $8 for a padded uh, envelope, uh, priority mail. The third sell on eBay, it's this uh, Puma T. Uh, it's just very simple. It says Puma on the side. I uh, posted this for, for $16 and took an offer of $15 plus shipping. The tax is $25. It's brand new. So the for sale, the one I did on Poshmark were uh, just a cheap uh, slippers, which I couldn't find. So I just had to cancel the order. This happens. I'm trying to be more organized so this doesn't happen. But I posted that a while back. So anyways, I had to cancel. It. So this is the other. This solo Mercari. This was a retail arbitrage. I got this for $9 at Walmart. Uh, $10. I think it was $10 with tax and everything probably I don't, I don't remember but let's say ten dollars for this and just sold for twenty eight dollars free shipping uh, yeah it's pretty cool okay so this is a nice sale right here these are the Lebron 15 uh, fruity pebbles this is really nice um, look at this So these, I thought they were not going to sell just because these are size 17. These are huge. So I bought these at Ross for $60, $59.99. And I was hesitant to do it just because of the size. I don't like to grab huge sizes. Uh, but on this one, I did because these are awesome. So this just sold on GOAT for 170 plus shipping. 
So it's it's a nice profit, about $90 on profit on this. Um, I wanted more. If it's a better size, you can get more over 200 bucks. But this being a size 17, it was hard. In, and I've seen others selling this same size for even less than what I sold it for. So I'm happy to see this go. And yeah, let's just park them and send them. And here I have the Nintendo 64. Um, I forgot to record the Nintendo, so I just remember. So it's in here. So it's all Mercari for full price of $135 plus $17 shipping. So, yeah, it's all in one day. Good sell. So this that is going here, I paid $20. Um, actually I paid $20 for the console with all the cables and four controllers so here I did a console with two controllers and I didn't have a game to test them so I have to buy a game that's five bucks that I pay so it's going the game two controllers the console and the cable so I still have two more controllers one is going to go with the other console that i have with our controller and the neon extreme green i'm going to sell separate i sold this set of four dessert plates they're like about six inches and i listed this for 25 dollars and sold for 23 i took an offer uh, these are depression glass this was made between 1930 and 1939 so the color is pink and they're super cool for these plates getting 25 bucks that's crazy i know there are others that are even more expensive but this this was the the i guess the more common uh pattern so there's a lot listed so the problem is first time that i'm shipping glass so i have to I don't know yet. I have to think how I'm going to ship this. I broke it. I just sent an email to the owner because this, you saw me, right? I dropped it. And it broke one of the plates. So let's see what she wants. Next is this uh, pattern. This sold for $5 plus shipping. I bought a box with a bunch of them and I still have them. I paid $20 in a garage sale and they're still selling from time to time. I'm already, I made about 100 bucks out of this box and yeah so but this is one of the cheaper ones see i don't post this cheap uh but i i was using a software i still use it i think it's called i never see the name of that software i go in but it's called seller champ so practically you just scan the barcode and it loads all the pictures if there's a okay so then i sold these this is a lot of two Ofa cutters and two scissors. Um, and I got these at, the, at a unit storage that I bought. Um, listed this for $20 plus shipping and sold in, in an hour after being listed. Probably, um, I don't know, I should have listed this a bit higher, but the two cutters brand new are selling for 17 to 18 dollars so these are used so i thought uh 20 dollars for both now the scissors are selling for like five bucks and then let's see 20 bucks but probably I, it is what it is right so 20 dollars plus uh five dollar shipping omer curry now i sold this this is a duvet set size queen comes with two pillows these are really nice um, I had it forever and finally going through my death pile saw it and listed these probably it saw in about two weeks so no bad though so for $40 plus shipping on Poshmark
All right, guys, so I just sold these. For eighteen dollar plus shipping. Never seen this before, but uh, they were in a storage unit I bought. It's tape. I guess it's used for crafting. But this one says four yards, four yards, or yeah, four yards and three yards. So I sold these four brand new for eighteen dollars plus shipping. I sold this uh, dog bed. It's a small. I sold it for seventeen dollars and eighty cents plus eleven dollars shipping. No bad. I had a. I have a bunch of these. All right, guys. So this is it for this video. If you like the reselling content, subscribe to the channel. I'm always posting. You know what I have sold. What I have here to, to sell, uh, what I'm getting, where I'm buying stuff from, uh, estimated profits, unboxing videos, stuff like that. So if you like this type of content, subscribe to the channel. If you like what you've seen on this video, all the items I've sold, all the items I have to list, uh, like this video, that helps a lot, a lot with the channel. If you're not following me on Instagram yet, please do. My username is in the description and see you guys on the next one.